welcome to Katrina's Creations. This is episode 297, I think. I think I'm pretty good. I think I'm pretty good. I think it's, a, yeah, it's, a it's 297. We'll go with that. Okay, let's get started. I have a ton of finished objects to show today. Um, not once I worked on a vacation. I just sat down one day and just kept working and working and got a bunch done. I'm a little hyped up on caffeine, in case you can't tell. I've got my third cup of hot tea. It's cold up here in Pennsylvania today. It's like 60 degrees out. This is my third cup of hot tea today. Needless to say, there might be an intermission with this video. So what am I drinking? If you want to know, it is, I'm actually balancing it on my exercise. This is my exercise bike here. We got to use it for something. So it's a tea stand right now, but I'm actually drinking British Blends Duchess Balmoral by Tetley. It is really good. It is a marvel. I'm reading from this. It's a marvelous medal. Blah, blah, blah. It is a marvelous medley of classic orange pico and vanilla. It is really good. Um, yeah, it's, it's good. It has like a smoky vanilla taste to it. So, yeah, I'll be drinking that off and on. Like I said, three cups, lots of caffeine. So let's get started with what I have for finished objects. The first thing, I have another cat hat modeled by a stuffed dog. It looks like the Caped Crusader right now. It's, I have to tack this up in the back. It's supposed to be a turkey hat. Use your imagination. It was not one of my better ones, but anyway, it's a turkey hat. So, um, and I do have a little tie here to tie around his neck to hold it in place. So, yeah, I need to fix the back of that a little bit. So, that is object number one. Object number two, um, I did get some yarn in from Annie's. I'll explain that a little later in the video. But one of the yarns that I got in, I made this with. This is a bulky yarn. And let's see. It is King Cole Big Value Chunky. Annie's had a sale. I got this skein of yarn for $2.99. I really like it. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it, but it just has a nice crisp uh, knit. And someone did ask me um, if I would do a tutorial for a bulky weight hat. I will be doing a tutorial for this particular hat. Now it does get it does get a pom pom on it yet, but I just wanted to show this to you. Um, and I am making this. These are the items I'm going to be showing you from here out that are finished are actually for the craft fair that Kim and I are doing, which is in two weeks. So this is the pattern. It is a free pattern. It's from Lion Brand and it's a scarf and hat pattern. I just did the hat. Um, it normally uses Lion Brand tweed stripes. Like I said, I used King Cole and this is called Easy Peasy Hat and Scarf Set. This is number five. If you go over onto Lion Brand, they have a whole bunch of Easy Peasy. They have like one, two, three, four. This is five. Um, I'm not sure what the other ones are or not, but this is a super simple uh, hat to do. And I just, I love single crochet and that's what this is. But yeah, it was simple to do. It worked up really quick. I think it's nice and it fits well. So um, that is one finished object. Then I have a whole bunch of finished objects. Yep, we're ready for fall. I made a bunch of, as if I hadn't made enough pumpkins. All total, I think I made 50, 53 or 54 pumpkins for um, my friend whose daughter is getting married as you watch this video. So, um, these I made, I had some orange yarn. I held it double because it was just worsted weight. I used a 6.5 millimeter hook and I had some little leaves and I found while we were on vacation, the Dollar Tree uh, down in Fredericksburg had cinnamon sticks. So I bought a thing of cinnamon sticks for 
the stem. So this, this is the great pumpkin. This is the biggest one. I have a couple that are larger. Most of them, all of them are crocheted except for one. This is the one that was knit. It's actually my favorite because I did some cables on it. So there you can see that one. So we have a couple that are considered large and then we have three that are smaller. So there's three like this and then there are three medium size or two medium sized, three medium sized. Oh, there's one more in there ha hanging out. I have four small ones. So four small ones and then a couple of mediums. I have this one that I just squished and I have the knitted one I showed you. Let's see. So five small, five small ones. Okay. I'll get this right yet. I can add. I have five small ones that are like this. And then I have two medium, which is this one and the knitted one. And then we have the great pumpkin. So all total, I have eight, eight pumpkins all together. And I'm going to display them in this little basket just because I think it looks very fall-ish. So that is my finished objects. Now we'll get to my works in progress. Now, I had some other yarn that I ordered from Annie's. This is what's left of the King Cole. And then I have this, which is a six weight. This is a five weight. I'm actually putting them together because if you look, the golds are almost identical. And I just dropped part of the gold. It's on the floor. Yarn barf. Uh, but this yarn is called King Cole Quartz, super chunky. And the color for this is amber. The color for this one is called mustard. And there goes more of it. It's, yeah, I've got a, a mess. It looks like spaghetti on my floor right now. But I am combining them. I was getting a little tired of the crocheting. My wrists were getting a little complaining about the crocheting because of all of the pumpkins So and the hat. So this one I am knitting. I'm just kind of making this pattern up as I go. And I'm using the two yarns because, like I said, I, I wanted to use the rest of this. Every time I hold it up, there's less to hold up because it's it's all in a knot on the floor. But anyway, I'm, I'm mixing this with the other just to use it up because it was such a little bit left that I don't know what I would do with it otherwise. So like every fourth row I do a stripe in this. <laughs> yeah, there goes more. So I am doing a slight pattern here. You can see there's a little X. So they're in 10 stitch repeats. So in between these markers is 10 stitches. And I do two on each side that are just knit stitch. And then I do one purl on each side. How's that adding up? Oh, yeah, one purl. <laughs> there we go with the math again. Okay, two knitted stitches on each side, then a purl on each side, and then these two stitches in the center. I'm crisscrossing every so often, which will form a little mini cable going up through the center. So very simple. There's 90 stitches on here. So I have, it'll have nine repeats or nine little mini cables. So yeah, that's what that will look like. And I am using a nine inch circular needle and this is an eight millimeter or US eight. It's a US eight. So just in case you're wondering what I did with this. And I have a pattern out for a mini cabled hat. This is very, very similar to that. So um, I'm hoping it's not too big because now that I think of it, 90 stitches is about what I did, is about what I did for a worsted weight. Okay, this might be for somebody with a really big head. We'll see. We shall see. Hopefully it'll work out. Stay tuned next week. The other item I have been working on, now this one I did take on vacation with me, and that is, I'm pulling it out here, but that is the poncho. 
And I got quite a ways on while we were on vacation. Let me see where my marker was from last week. Ah, there we go. So here's where you can see where I was. So here's where you can see I was last week. So I have done about an inch and a half, which again doesn't sound like much except there's like this, this cable is almost completely full. I'm going to have to change to a larger cable soon. There's over 400 stitches on this. Let me see if I can open it up enough so you can see the pattern. It goes from the neck down. I think it is going to be really pretty when it's done, but I think I know why it's called the Forevermore Poncho, because it takes forever to go around and around and around with it. But there it is. You can start seeing the pattern here. So that's what I worked with, worked on, on the, the evenings while we were on our vacation. If you missed the vacation videos, there are four of them. They ran this past week. You can click right here. That'll take you to the playlist uh, with all of the vacation trip details. We went to Virginia and saw lots of stuff. We went to the Frontier Culture Museum. We went to um, the Walton's Mountain Museum. That was interesting. And then we walked around Fredericksburg and I went to Hobby Lobby. So in a little bit, I will do a little acquisitions plus some that I bought. So now it's time for show and tell. But the only person that submitted anything was Kim. So the items you're going to see, it's, it's the Kim show and tell today. Um, but the items you're going to see are things that she is actually making for the craft fair that we're going to in two weeks. So uh, with that said, here comes the Kim show. like to be part of show and tell you can send me pictures of your projects all you need to do is send me an email it's katrina's creations at yahoo.com let me know any information you want to tell me about it uh, like the pattern and who the designer is and all that and you can do it that way you can post it directly over to my facebook page which is katrina knits or you can message me through facebook and send me a picture that way with the information so those three ways I will know that if you specifically sent it to me, it's intended for the show and tell. So now let's look at the acquisitions. There are just a few here. Sarcasm noted. Time for a tea break. Mm, that's so good. <laughs> And I'm not even sponsored to say anything about that tea, but it is tasty. Okay, let's start with what I got from Hobby Lobby. From Hobby Lobby, and I showed this on the video, but I don't know how well the lighting was, so I'm going to show it to you again. I got two, that's taking my sweater with me. I got two skeins of this beautiful fall colors. And they were 30% off. So it's normally $8.99. I paid six something for this. Um, it is super soft. It is, let me see. The color is called Brava. It is pigment and fiber, but the Bravado, I'm sorry, not Brava, Bravado is the name of this colorway. They had quite a few different color choices. I liked one of the other ones too, but I love fall colors. And I am in the mood for fall and the weather has gotten cold. So it is definitely fall. Uh, it's 60% acrylic, 20% wool, and 20% nylon. And there is a total, let me see, where's the yardage here? 
know it's here someplace. Six hundred and thirty yards. So all total, I have twelve hundred and sixty between the two, which because I'm a little bit smaller now, that will definitely make at least a short sleeved sweater um, or maybe like a vest or something that I could wear over top of a sweater, um, like over a turtleneck or something. We'll see how far it goes. But um, yeah, the recommended, this is a, what weight are they saying? I think I read it, this is like a two weight. I would tend to say it's a three weight. They're recommending uh, for knitting needles a U.S size 2 or for in the UK they're saying size 12 and crochet hook they're recommending a size D or 3 and UK a size 10 but I would say it's more fingering weight I would tend to think this is a 3 not so much a 2 oh they're saying it's a 1 they're calling it super fine I would not say this is super fine I would say this is more fingering weight so, I don't know. We'll see. But to me, this is, when I think super fine or, or number one, I think lace weight. This isn't lace weight. This is heavier. So, I have two of these. I got a free pattern. This was on one of their little rows. I like this pattern. I don't like the scarf that's in here. To me, it looks like, it looks like a clown scarf. See? That is definitely something I would never wear. Uh, but the pattern for the shawl, I like. And here's an up-close of it. And how much does it say you need? This is called, does it have a name? It just says shawl, easy. Doesn't it have a name? It does not have a name. It just says shawl. It says it's easy. Um, they are recommending four skeins of I Love This Yarn, and each of the skeins has 355 yards. So technically, I would have enough from the yarn I bought to make this, but I don't want, I already have a shawl or two in fall color. So yeah, I'll make this eventually, but not out of the yarn that I just bought. So, I got that. And then I bought some things to make stitch markers out of to sell in the Etsy shop. And they're all upside down here. To sell in the Etsy shop or at the craft fair. So there's these little charms, which are all jewel tones. And then there are these little iridescent flowers there you can see them and then I bought these plain uh, stitch markers that I will just put these onto and then I'll re you know put them together on a little card stock or something something cute and decorative so um I got those that's what I bought at Hobby Lobby. Now to the Annie's that I showed you or talked about. I was going to do this as an unboxing, but it's coming in in bits and pieces because they messed up my order. Now, this is the second time Annie's has messed up my order, but they actually mess it up in the good both times. The last time when I ordered, I ordered nine skeins of yarn because I was making a bunch of Afghans for my kids. They doubled the order by accident and sent me 18 skeins of yarn. So I had contacted them and said, you know, I, do you want me to say, if you send me a return slip, I'll mail it back to you. Um, and they were like, no, it's not worth the shipping charge to mail it back to us. Uh, just give the yarn away. Well, instead of giving the yarn away where they would make somebody, if somebody would pay for it, if I donated it someplace, instead I divided the yarn up between Kim and I, and we used that yarn and made a bunch of hats that we then donated to um, a school in the area for them to give out to kids that didn't have hats and things during the winter time. So that's what, and then I sent a picture of what we made to Annie's just so they knew that I did honor what they'd asked me to do. Um, so yeah, that's what happened last time. Well, what happened this time, 
I ordered six skeins of bulky yarn. So you saw the two that I got. I got two other skeins. They're both softy. This is a premier yarn. It's a very, um, it almost reminds me of Roving's. You can see it does not have a high twist at all. So I'm hoping it doesn't pull apart real easy. There's 93 yards or 85 meters. It's 88% acrylic, 8% polyamide, 4% viscose. It is a five weight bulky yarn. And this color is called Carnation. And I have a second one just like it. This one's called Denim. But I had two other skeins that they forgot to send me. I had another skein, I believe, of the... Where do I have it at? I have my shipping thing. Okay, so they... I had one called Dream Maker Faraway. Or Far Away. Far Away, yes. Uh, Dream Maker Far Away, which was $2.99. These were each... $2.49. Like I said, Annie's had a sale. Um, the Brava Chunky, or not Brava, the the big value that I showed you, that was the mustard yarn that kept falling apart. I said it was $2.99. It was actually $3.99. So it was $3.99. And then the, the variegated with the gold and the, and the gray, that was the quartz super chunky in the amber color. That was $4.49. So what they messed up in the order was they forgot to send me Dream Maker Far Away, which was $2.99, and Quartz Super Chunky in the opal color, which was like different shades of grays and blacks. So they missed sending me two skeins of yarn. Instead, they sent me this. Yeah, it's a rechargeable lighted crochet hook with interchangeable heads. So um, here's a picture of it on the back. It uses just a USB, um, like a mini USB jack, and it charges the crochet hook. And there you can see with the crochet hook, it's like an ergonomic crochet hook. And then it has interchangeable heads here that just screw on. This is like $20 worth of it. Of it. I would love to open this up and show it to you, but I haven't heard back yet whether they want this back or not. If they do, I don't want to open it and then send it back to them. So anyway, um, we'll see what happens if they let me keep it. Who knows? We might, we, it might show up as a giveaway. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, because um, I don't use lighted crochet hooks, I don't know, but we'll, we will if, if they tell me I can have it, we will open this and explore it together. Uh, so anyway, I'm waiting to get those other two skeins of yarn that they missed and find out whether they want this one back or not. So that was my Annie's order. Now we have some upcoming videos this week. We have, on Wednesday, Kim and I, a couple weeks ago, went to a knit out, which means you sit outside and knit. And we were up at the Knitting Cottage, which is outside of Waynesboro, Pennsylvania. And it was a gorgeous day. The weather was beautiful. We sat underneath the trees with another, with a group of really nice ladies and just spent the day knitting and crocheting. So we had a wonderful time. I worked on my poncho and at that time the wedding pumpkins. So um, I took a little bit of both in case I got tired of doing one. And I thought it was going to be a long day. It went so fast. It was like from 9 until 4. We got there a little after 10, I think. And we actually stayed past 4 o'clock visiting and buying yarn. So, um, yeah, make sure you stay tuned on Wednesday. I will show you what I got. The other video we have going on this week is on Thursday, and that will be my monthly bariatric or VSG update to find out what's going on there's been a lot this week or this month so uh, yeah make sure you check that out now it's time for now in our come and get it section this week lion brand is running 30 percent off of their yarn and kits you do not need a coupon code the um the links to all of the sales are down below 
and the sale ends at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on October 3rd. So, um, you might as well say it runs, it ends October 2nd because 9 a.m. in the morning? Whatever, if you want to get up and, well, I'm up by 9 a.m. in the morning, but, you know, I would order before it goes to, if you want, if you really want that yarn, I'd get it before 9 a.m. on October 3rd because you're not going to have as much to pick from. So anyway, that's 30% off of their yarn and their kits. Love Crafts, uh, now this is for the U.S. Love Crafts. It varies for the UK Lovecraft. So if you click the link down below, just when you open up to their title page, check them out every day because they have flash sales constantly. You just go to the home page and just keep on scrolling down because there's one sale after another that they have listed. So they always have stuff running for sale. But right now on the US page, they have 45% off of customer favorites. That sale ends on Thursday, October 6th. So yeah, 45% off of their customer favorites for the yarn and stuff. So that is Lovecraft's. Annie's right now is running until October 3rd, which would be Monday, Monday, um, at 3 a.m., which makes more sense because 3 a.m. means that California time would be midnight. So they run it till 3 a.m. Yeah. So in other words, buy it before October so buy it by October 2nd. You're, you're safer that way. But they are running 30% off of their pattern downloads. Um, my poncho pattern is from Annie's. It's Annie's signature pattern and it is called Forevermore Poncho. So, but they have all of their fall signature patterns are out right now too. So you can get 30% off of the downloadable patterns. You do need to use a coupon code 30 DL to get that discount. So that is Annie's. Then there's Mary Maxim. Mary Maxim is running, now this is for the US only, they are running a $4.99 flat shipping fee if you buy $40 or more. No coupon code needed. Um, I guess it just automatically applies um, once you purchase $40 or more. So that is Mary Maxim. And then lastly, there's Knit Picks. Now, Knit Picks is going to be exciting this coming month because it is their 20th anniversary. So they are going to be starting, as of today, because you're watching this October 1st, they are going to have City Tweed is their monthly yarn sale. I believe it's going to be, I'm filming this Friday afternoon, so I believe it's going to be 20% off. That's what it normally is for their monthly yarn sale. So that's City Tweed. They have in their Swish Bulky yarns, they have some new colors available. And they are also going to be starting the 12 weeks of free patterns. So every week there will be a new free pattern. So make sure you keep going over to Knit Picks to check out what those patterns are. They also are going to be running multiple like flash one day sales. So just be watching my videos. I usually will put out something. If I run across one of those sales, I'll let you know. Um, my sales videos are always yellow with black writing just to catch your attention. So be watching for those because flash sales are usually pretty good. So we'll see what Knit Picks has to offer. I know that they're also offering a special, they're going to be offering a additional discount on their double pointed needles at some point this month so um yeah be watching for those so as videos become or so as sales become available um on nitpicks i will let you know so that is it for this week make sure you come back on wednesday and thursday to check out what i got and i will see you all later thanks for watching bye everybody